Hi, my name is Jay Bon Fields. I have the honor and pleasure to serve as the president of the Greater Grand Rapids NAACP Youth Council. I'm joined here by my secretary, Ayanna Smith, and Vice President Colin Lewis. Uh, we're just having a candid conversation about the impact of activism and being involved in NAACP. And so, Ayanna, let me ask you, what caused you to be involved and be committed to social justice? Um, social justice is huge right now. I think that in the city of Grand Rapids and even the world that we are in right now, being a part of something bigger than yourself is what is most important. And with me being a social work major at Grand Valley, I felt like this is something I've always wanted to do. I always wanted to do something more than just being in an office or making copies. I really wanted to get into the community and do something that mattered. So for me, social justice is something that can really take our world to the next step as far as restoring what has been broken. Right. So for me, that's why social justice is important and why I'm in this chair right now. What has been your experience as a leader in the NAACP? So being a young leader in the NAACP, it gave me the opportunity to really comprehend that my voice does matter and that we have a platform, the Youth Council, to make the changes that we want to see. And so I'm surrounded by you know, a group of young, intelligent, um, bright, energetic people who see what's going on in the community but want to make changes too. So being a young leader, we essentially have the opportunity to be like, okay, there's no seat at the table, cool, we'll bring one, right? And so being in that space and handling opportunities is, is, is a phenomenal. But, you know, Colin, I want to ask you in terms of youth movement and, and being involved in what's all that's going on, um, what does that look like from a young person perspective? And I feel like you kind of touched on it a little bit, but I'll definitely go in depth a little bit more. You know, the idea that adults can cheat us like children, where they feel like, oh, well, you know, there's not as experienced, he hasn't lived as long as I have. And so ultimately, you know, I'll make the decisions for them. You know, I'll make these impactful things, such as laws that are being put in place, you know these different regulations that people aren't really understanding, you know, at their current capacity. And so it puts them in a position where they feel like they're almost helpless. And that's not the truth at all. And so, you know, that's where as a young person, you can kind of identify your movements, you know, through social media, TikTok, Instagram. You know, we had this Blackout Tuesday where, you know, Instagram was covered with black screens and, you know, it doesn't stop there. It doesn't right. stop, you know, in these areas. And so that's where you had to kind of figure out, you know, what organizations inside of your community can you be a part of, you know, that can, can you impact the people around you? And so um, that kind of goes hand in hand, but Javon, I'm curious as to how, you know, um, it's been an ongoing pandemic, you know, having to wear masks, right. you know, people having to deal with this kind of sickness, but also on social media, where you're seeing and witnessing black and brown people being killed innocently, you know, at the hands of the police. And so it might be kind of worrisome at times. Um, how exactly has this impacted your work as an NAACP president um, of the Youth Council? And can you speak a little bit to that? Right, because the pandemic is still ongoing. Um, so we're witnessing a national, I'm sorry, worldwide health crisis. And we we understand that this health crisis has disproportionately affected black and brown people. And so we use social media as a platform to get that information out. Understanding that you might have a community where it's 60% uh, black people, but then 55% is affected by COVID, right? So encouraging people to get the knowledge and information, but also having fun and engaging with you know our fellow youth because mental health is important. We are all in lockdown. We are all you know held in our own space. But using that platform to reach out to each other and have conversations about what's going going on with COVID, and then also safely hosting events. We had a give back. Uh, we have multiple COVID give backs where we had families come and get free food. Um, and we also during the peak of the movement we had our own marches like the one we had in Capitol in Lansing, in Lansing. And so those are the type of work that we do in the NAACP. We adapt and we adjust. But let me ask you, Ayana, mm -hmm. with all that's going on with the movement, with COVID, um, we're going through a lot. Can young, young people, the youth and young adult, afford not to be involved in NAACP? 
I think ultimately it becomes a choice. I think that for us sitting here and many of the people who are watching this, it isn't a choice. I think that um, the world that we're in right now cannot afford to just sit back and let things happen. I think that this is a vital piece in history, honestly, to really do things that make a difference. And the NAACP is a great organization for people in Grand Rapids and just young individuals all over this state to really do something that matters and to get your hands and feet wet into something that you're passionate about. Um, I feel like even this past year with, like Colin said, the Instagram posts and all the marches and things that we did, those are great first steps. But to really make real change and have people listen to our voices, we got to get involved in something bigger than us and really put you know, our feet in front of us to make a difference. So the NAACP is super important. It's um, more than just what it looks like. There's a lot of things that people can get involved in. And so it's not a choice, but ultimately it's something that you have to be passionate about and want to do for yourself and for generations in, in the future. Um, so with that being said, also, it is a great resume and professional builder. I mean, when you think about something that's gonna make you look like you got your stuff together, it would be the NAACP. Um, opportunities come from this. People in the city know your name. So this is a more than just, you know, meetings and things like that. This is something that can, as being young people, a lot of us are entrepreneurs. So having something like this on your resume or having these connects and networking skills are huge. So. Um, with that being said, how do you feel like the NAACP has changed your professional and um, personal life? Yeah, so I started off at NAACP my senior year of high school, and I had no professional development training whatsoever. Um, but being involved in youth council, understanding that this is a training ground, mm -hmm. and we have the support of our adult branch and the guidance of our advisors, to develop these skills, public speaking, um, being able to conduct yourself in meetings, um, taking meaningful notes and asking those those questions, the questions you think are dumb, but everybody else is thinking about. Right. You know, no, I know those, those questions, asking questions like that, um, because the work we do, you know, it matters, but it also develops your character and provides you a skill you're going to take for the rest of your life. So this is a training ground. You're going to do something right here now in youth council but take it with you in other organizations. Uh, you're gonna take it with you at school, learn how to take notes and, and things like that. But my overall experience, professionally and personally, has you know been a major impact from the NAACP. So that's why I encourage you all to get involved with the NAACP Youth Council. And you can do so by becoming a member through our website at naacpgr.com. You can also make donations at NAACPGR.com um, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at NAACPGR underscore YC. Understand, we are not the future, we are the present.